Every crime will happen in less than one to three seconds. And in this amount of time, your brain will freeze. So training girls how to deal with a real life crime situation. Boom, boom. One, two. Come with me, come with me. Yeah, hai women empowerment in the real sense. Hello everyone, my name is Hafsa Malik and I'm an educator for An Academy. Aaj hamare saath hai NEET UG Topper 2021, All India Rank 1. Kartika, please welcome. So Hafsa ma'am, you got me all geared up today. Aaj hum kya karne wale hai? Very smart girl, you're asking all of the right questions. Aaj hum ek bohat important session karenge, jo self-defense pe hoga. And surprise, I have an expert for you who is going to teach both of us some very interesting techniques of self-defense. So today we have with us Franklin Joseph Sir, who is the CEO and founder of the All India Institute of Special Tactics and Combat Science. How interesting does that sound? Hi everyone, my name is Franklin Joseph. I'm a specialist in combat science and special tactics. And the tactics we're going to talk about today is called Krav Maga. It's an Israeli military self-defense system created by the Israeli military, for the military, and obviously now taught to civilians. This system is designed for real life crime situation. And in real life crime situation, all the attack and it happens in one to three seconds. So it's a very short amount of time. And in this amount of time, your brain will freeze. So all the tactics and the tricks that you have learned, you will forget it because your brain will not work in that situation. So the muscle memory of the person is something that will kick in. So our training is focused on real life crime situation, trained in a more real life situational based training. So now the Krav Maga tactics are used in I teach I power. That is the concept of training girls how to deal with a real life crime situation. And the training has to be fast. The training has to be effective and the training has to be scientific, especially for girls, because the size and strength should not be a big factor in a crime situation. Most of the girls will not have the size and strength of a big, strong man. So the tactics has to be designed, especially for the girls, both psychological as well as tactical training, in which they are able to get out of a crime situation within three seconds. So this video is going to be very effective and very real. So I want you guys to be focused Keep your mobile aside and get ready for combat. Hi everyone. Hello. Welcome sir. Such a pleasure to have you here. I know nothing about physical activity actually. I'm quite scared of it, but I'm so excited to learn from you. But that is what the beauty part of our training is that most of the girls are not physically or mentally prepared for dealing with a real life crime situation. I think you are going to go to Delhi and learn something there. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're going to Delhi or going to any other city, you most probably you'll be alone and you have to travel a lot. So there will be a lot of psychological as well as tactical uh, situation that we'll be recreating here so that you will be trained to deal with these crime situations much more smarter, most likely like a military guy. Are you ready for that? Yes. Sir. How amazing is that? Not only is this going to be very, very entertaining, but it's going to be very informative, not just for me and Kartika, but also for all of you. Just as Sir has told us how important this can be for girls, I think this is an essential life skill. What do you think, Kartika? I'm super excited because I do believe it's very important to be prepared for any situation. So we're going to start with a program called IT Chai Power. So which, as you said, it is focused on girls, uh, especially for girls who are going for education in other cities. And it is focused on psychological as well as tactical training. So I'm, I'm going to introduce Crystal Joseph. And uh, Crystal, can you please bring the gloves? So Crystal Joseph is the instructor of IT Chai Power. OK, and uh, Kartika, can you please wear the gloves so that we can be safe? So obviously we want to get away from a crime situation and in any of the crime situation, combatives are a very important part of your training. Now, as I said, there's nothing to do with your physicality. So the girl can be thin, small, tall, big, fat, and she can still come out of a crime situation using her own body. So we use simple science like mass into acceleration is equal to uh, force as well as uh, kinetic chain of energy. And using this simple science that we learn in school, the girl can generate a lot of force. So I'm going to demonstrate that with Crystal and then I want you to just replicate that, okay? So we're going to hold the bag. So Crystal, you can come here and put your guard up and you're just going to go slow and punch. 
okay so that's how it is it's very effective and i can go a little more speed and hard okay so this rotational force centrifugal force and mass into acceleration is what creates the force okay so i want you to step in now okay and crystal can you help her guide her you're standing straight put your guard up above your below your cheekbone perfect from towards the back left leg back heel up punch straight at a 45 degree angle yes rotate your leg your right leg will be rotating rotate your body when you doing this yeah nice give me one more one one give me yes i'm scared now very good okay now let's go with left and right yeah okay go so when i do the left leg this the, this one will turn you doing with this one this one turns huh. you doing with this one this one turns that's very simple let's do it 45 degree angle one and two nice okay. very good one two one one two now scare me come on go hold. boom and boom that's very nice so this is a uh, fist punch okay we can sometime when you know this is a crime situation you will not get time to even uh, hold your punch so then we're going to go with heel of the hand punch crystal take over heel of the hand punch is there are three types of stances there is semi passive stance passive stance and fighter stance we do the heel of the hand punch from the semi passive stance your legs are at your shoulder width stand with me shoulder width put your palm out facing forward The reason I'm doing this is because in the semi passive stance you're not in the fight you're not physically in the fight but you're in a surrender position you're decepting the opponent you're showing the person that you are surrendering but you're not you're prepared same thing with your cheekbones facing forward your palms i mean your fingers are slightly open and you're hitting with the heel of the hand So we're going to show with a real life scenario so I'll yeah. try to come close to her and you can hit me okay so I'm like okay come with me come with me boom you're going with the cheek chin right so we're going to replicate that in the back so do it two two three times one two three okay. as simple as that okay make sure you're not hitting with the fingers you're yeah. hitting with the heel of the hand okay the power is coming from the bones okay so the density of the mass of the bone is 4000 newtons so that's the power you're going to generate okay so when you're hitting you are hitting with the mass of acceleration of the body the density of the bone acts in as the fulcrum and the the, the leverage so it's a lot of force going on the cheek of the person chin of the person and obviously the force will transfer up to the brain yeah. and he will get concussion and he will lose his consciousness or he'll get a whiplash at the back of his neck so we're going to do that okay let's do that again simple Yeah, just extend your arm straight. That's it. One, that's it, and two. Very good. Again, one, two. Now let's scare me. Come on, go. One. Very good. Two. Very good. Very good. One more. One, two. Okay. So this is a heel of the hand punch. Okay. Now let's go with a uh, hammer. Hammer is when you are being attacked from left and right. Remember, in a street crime situation, you cannot tell the criminal, "Bhaiya, please come in front." Okay. So if the criminal is on the left or right then you get attacked in that situation and we do not have the time to turn and face him because in a crime situation every crime will happen in less than 1 to 3 seconds okay so i'm going to demonstrate that in a real situation this will you can stand side okay so imagine a lady is standing on a bus stand or something and i'm trying to grab and grab her something or take her or kidnap or something so she's going to immediately come to a stance and give me a hammer go a little harder It's still hard. Okay, so that time you are going with hard. Okay, let's do that on the back. See, as simple. Rotational force, centrifugal force. You're just extending and coming up. Now you try it. Keep your fist tight again. Okay. Now remember to rotate your body. Very simple. And you're hitting with your right hand. Your left leg turns. Nice. Excellent. One more. One more. Come on, scare me now. Nice, very good. So you can see within few seconds, you are able to generate so much of power. How do you feel about it? 
great. It's an amazing feeling. I, I never really knew it was possible. Yes, that is so amazing. It is, and you don't need to be very physical about it. Like you don't need to be a bodybuilder or a big person or a person with a lot of weight and muscle. Any person, especially girls, can learn this very fast and very effective. So we're gonna go with a more realistic scenario now. Okay, so Crystal will demonstrate. Let's say I'm the bad guy. You're going with the punches. Okay. So from the attack, my friend wants to protect me. So he's trying to grab her. Okay. He releases the hold and he punches. She punches the bad guy. So let's you do it. Okay. It's okay. You can touch. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to you. Okay. Make your fist tight. Okay. Yeah. Like this, and you're hitting me with this guy. Okay. Go. Very good. You can see that's very painful actually. Okay. So when you do this, obviously you're gonna aim for the chin. Okay. So let's say I'm trying to attack you. You go on the face. Attack me. One, two. Very good. Now grab her. You're releasing and getting out. So that was very exciting and very effective. It pains. Okay. So now let's do with kicks. Now in kick situation, we are aiming for the groin, but for safety purpose, we'll be aiming for the back. Going with assault kick. to the back okay go to hada to hada okay now you're using the ball of the foot okay using the ball of the foot to go for the do not hit me with the toes okay so let's go slow give me a ball of the foot kick it's just an assault just raise it up extend it out very simple go that's it very simple it is go again Little more harder. Imagine you are trying to push me away. Okay, so that's an assault kick. You are aiming that on the groin of the person or the lower intestine area. So very effective, very easy to do it. If let's say for any reason you don't want to hit that area, then you're going to go for the shin. So shin is nothing but a bone, which is very painful area. So the same thing. Let's say Crystal, you're going to go for the shin. Hit the shin. So that is painful. The person most likely will release. Now you try it. That's it. What if you need to attack the toes of the person? So all you're doing is stomping the person. Very simple and very easy again. So let's say just to come here, I have grabbed the girl or come close to the girl. You can see the toes. Use the ball of the foot and hit me hard. That's it. Now you try it. Very simple. Can I hold you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to take you away or something. That's it. Easy. One more time. Okay. So these are your kicks. Very easy. Very effective. Whatever you're wearing, uh, whether it be silhouettes, whether it be shoes, whether it be boots, you can still do it. You don't need any special equipment. You don't need any special gear. You don't need any special uh, uniform. And any dress code, any situation, you can still come out of the crime situation using these simple tactics. Now next we're going to go with tactical situation where if the person has grabbed you or choking you so in that situation you're going to go with both combatives that is your punches and kicks as well as your krav maga tactics so krav maga tactics as i said is based on reflex action based tactics so crystal you take over single hand grab release in the single hand grab release we are assuming the person is in front of you is in front of you with his right hand he is holding your right hand What is the problem in this situation? Problem is he is in front of you, right? And he's holding you with his very strong hand, and is assuming this person is bigger and stronger than you. The first thing that you do in any situation is look for their weaknesses. So, what are his weaknesses in this situation? There are three weaknesses that every human being has in his hands. First, first weakness is the wrist, carpal bones, because it's a joint. It's very easy to break. Second is the thumb. it separate from all the other fingers makes it very weak hairline gap this is very easy to break even if you put a hair in the middle and thread pull it it will come out so he's grabbing you the first thing that you do is raise your wrist why we raising our wrist because we have the same weaknesses that he has so we are eliminating the weakness of the carpal bones which is the wrist grabbing our own hand with the next free hand this creates a triangle Which is the strongest shape, and it adds to the mass. So it's not just one hand against one hand; it's two hands against one hand. Next, we step forward. Why are we stepping forward? Because we are trying to go into his comfort zone. He's a, he's comfortable right now. 
he wants to grab a hand he has an intention you're going in surprising him grabbing when and then simultaneously we rotate we are, this is a pivot point where he's grabbing you is a pivot point elbow goes into his wrist you go in and you're out okay let's try that you do it come it's very easy very easy okay so bad guy grab your hand okay try to pull it up try to pull it up pull yourself no just without trauma ga just try to pull it remember you're scared you're alone so you don't want this person to be with you right so you're trying to pull it out is it coming out no okay so the science says focus on the the weakness of the bad person's hand okay so lift the wrist now grab your own hand making a triangle then create math and acceleration pivot point is here the uh, the fulcrum turns the leverage comes from this angle rotate your legs also okay see it comes out i'm going to hold you a little tighter now okay go 1 2 3 rotate very good you can go a little more speed okay 1 2 3 see it comes out can i hold you tighter yeah okay go so no matter what okay irrespective of the size and strength of the girl she can come out of any crime situation majority of the assaults where the girl has to be grabbed or kidnapped or assault situation or sexual assault situation the girl has to be grabbed and the grab has to be done by the hands so if you are able to get out of this situation the chances of you getting into a crime situation is very very less okay so let's go with another situation where the person is grabbing you with two hands so let's go with crystal again okay explain same thing grabbing you with his hands the problem is before it was one hand against one now it's two hand against one don't worry you can still get out so more strength more power yeah okay now what is the, the psychological factor that kicks in imagine mm. if you're the girl in that situation you have gone for your studies and this guy comes and grabs you with two hands what do you feel at that time i mean uh, for a second maybe i won't be able to think much and mm. i'll be confused and in yes. i'll be panicking yes now don't mind me i'm saying this you are a very very smart person but that time your brain will not work why it will freeze in fear so the amygdala and thalamus uh, creates two uh, fight and flight mode and in this mode you will be going with the flight mode so in the flight mode what will kick in fear after fear comes a little bit of anger or sometime a little bit of panic so in that panic you are again trying to get out so when you're trying to get out you're creating a bottleneck because he's obviously holding the hand and the wrist is smaller than your the palm so when the lady wants to pull out because she is in panic situation you can see obviously his grip will become more tighter okay so instead of going with the uh, flight mode we are going with the fight mode but with the fight mode you are going with more of a strategy and the strategy point is the simple science combat science and that is where kramaga is very excellent okay so explain crystal first thing we are doing is we are pushing a hand in aiming for his groin we are not contacting it but if we do it's great but we are aiming in which is a burst force it's called a burst force and it's a surprise for him and the first thing that he does will be that he will push back right so the so when you push in simultaneously step forward grab and go up horizontally up very simple very effective let's try this okay remember you're trying to scare me okay so uh, keep your body straight because remember you're walking so at that time somebody grabbed you try to scare him then step forward okay let's go scare me step forward push the elbow directly into me push push it push this directly that's it yeah. that's it don't try to lift it up no. okay push it directly into me yeah elbow in now use your two hands okay god has given you two hands no. so use them no. okay so let's go one grab push now that's it that's how simple it is let's do it again one two push now go a little harder scare me go one two push i'm going to hold you tighter now okay go easily getting out okay how do you feel about this great it's amazing okay so we're going to go with little more real life scenarios where the person has grabbed you with two hands both left and right okay so i'm going to demonstrate with the crystal go fast one two three same technique same principles applies here also Yeah. Can I do it with you? Same thing. All you need to do is grab your hold your hand, push the both the elbows towards me. Okay? Yes. 
push the elbow towards you. That's it. Very good. First force, come towards me. You are obviously not too close, but half the distance. Uh -huh. Okay, go. Yeah, push the elbow towards me first. Yeah, push the elbow towards me. Where's the elbow? Elbow's here. Push it towards me. That's it. You're not pushing your body, you're pushing the elbow. Okay, go. That's it. Very simple. I'm going to go harder. That's it. Very simple and getting out. Now, last scenario I'm going to show. Turn around. Okay. Obviously, now I'm not in the front. At the back. Push the elbow. You're getting out. Okay. You can obviously turn and give me a combat voice. One, two, three. Okay. Let's try that. Very simple. Can I hold you? Yeah. Yeah. So, one, push the elbow. Turn. Boom. That's it. Very simple, very easy. Why are you turning? Because nobody wants to grab your hair. You want to want him to be grabbed. Okay. So the Kramaga tactics based on your reflex action, based on simple signs. And you're coming out of the crime situation in literally one to three seconds. Wow, Kartika, that was amazing. Such a fun-filled and powerful session. You looked like you struggled in the beginning, but you really got a hang of it. Tell me, how does it feel to do all of this? It was amazing and I think every person should learn something from this. I agree, there was so much physics in all of this, I never knew. I might actually go, you know, pay more attention to physics from now on. So much science, so much sense in all of this and so, so useful. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you so much, Crystal, for coming in and doing this for us. I'm sure all of our viewers will benefit from this. Whether it's a boy or a girl, self-defense is key. This is a life skill. Please remember, um, I hope all of you liked it and enjoyed it as much as I did and as much as Kartika did. I enjoyed a lot, hopefully you did as well. So let's try to match up the kicks and the punches in this video with all the likes that you can give us if you like this video. Please make sure to say, share and subscribe if you did like it. Please keep tuning in, there will be much more for you 